Well, the head of the country's uh, largest labor organization was also part of the discussions today with the U.S. Vice President. Uh, he was also part of the Canadian NAFTA Council providing input on Canada's negotiations for a new trade deal. Hassan Youssef is the president of the Canadian Labor Congress. He is with me now in the studio. Good to see you again. Uh, thanks for thanks having me. Thanks for being here. So what did you say to Mike Pence? Well, I remind uh, Mike Pence that, you know, they started this whole discussion on renegotiation and they basically said that working people had a, got a raw deal out of the previous agreement. And I want to remind them again that, uh, you know, this is ultimately the, the key. You're going to need to, how is this agreement going to improve the lives of working people and that needs to be the focus. I also want to remind him that the debate that's going on around the labor chapter in the agreement, had they taken our advice and what we had proposed as the strongest labor chapter in history that's ever been proposed in a trade agreement, mm -hmm some of the discussions going on in the States would have been very different right now. Right, and we know that that's one of the things that might be bogging them down, is yes. the, the Democrats in Congress want these changed to labor standards. Now, specifically around more Mex on, more Mexican on the, more, labor. Yeah, more, more than, on the enforcement side. Right. They're saying that they don't want to see stronger enforcement, there's penalties and what have you, and I think, uh, you know, that's the debate they're going to have in the States and try to figure out where, uh, where they can get to in regard to the ratification process. So is this a good deal for Canadian workers? I think in a number of areas, the labor provisions that it that they did achieve is better than the old uh, 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 provisions in the agreement. I also think um, uh, some of the things that troubled many of us when the deal was concluded, the, the tariffs that was on steel and aluminum is now lifted and making sure that the workers who are being laid off, hopefully they can recapture that market but they can go back to work. Also, I think some of the other provisions were very erroneous to the previous agreement after the Chapter 11, which you know caused many grief because of the lawsuits that have been pursued uh, uh, against our country and for a variety of policy decisions we make is gone. And of course, the proportionality on, on energy is also gone. I think those are things that are obviously are improvement. There are some concessions been granted to the states on, of course, dairy and, and, and poultry, and we need to acknowledge that and recognize that at the end of the day. So is it, I mean, you, you, like you were involved in the conversations yes, yes. around all of this. Is it your view that this is as good of a deal that we could have got? I, I absolutely believe, uh, uh, given the administration we're dealing with, given their desire, of course, uh, as to what they wanted to negotiate, and our insistence that certain things were not going to happen. I mean, we still maintain, of course, the provision to, to defend our culture in this country is still in the agreement, mm -hmm. and I think that's very important for what the kind of can we want, dual languages and what have you. I think this is the best deal we can achieve. Now, of course, Democrats are pushing for additional changes, and that's a fight they're going to have in the U.S. I believe at the end of the day, the administration is going to make a concession to them as to what that is. I don't know. Right. I mean, I, I suppose we could suggest that what the Democrats in the United States say they want is these stronger provisions around labor enforcement stand, enforcement of labor standards in the New Deal, uh, largely around Mexican workers. Uh, you represent workers. People would say, That's Hassan, stand up and say, you know what, I'm with the Democrats. Don't ratify the deal till we get these fixed. Well, you know, it's not for me to tell the Democrats what to do. I mean, listen, we tried very hard to get every, anybody, everybody in the United States we had talked to to support when we tabled the labor provision for the new agreement mm -hmm. to support that. And there was some deafening on on, 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 on other side about, oh, yeah, let's push for the Canadian provision because that would certainly make this agreement much, much, much uh, uh, stronger and better for everybody in all three countries. Clearly, Mexico was the, the ultimately the game here right from the get-go. There was a recognition that Mexico's labor uh, needs to be lifted. Not, uh, need to be lifted. There's actually provisions there for a floor for auto workers now in the agreement. There's a recognition that Mexico has got to enforce their laws and what is called protective contract in their countries. But at the end of the day, um, if they don't do it, uh, we need to make sure that there's some recognition that they're going to be held accountable because American workers and Canadian workers will re remain resentful unless Mexico enforce their laws. Now, there's a new administration there are committed to that principle. The, the, the broader question is going to be, over time, how does that happen? No different than any agreement. We don't know the end results yet, but of course, I'm hoping time will prove itself. The New Democrats are, in theory, in, in, you know, arguably, the, the party of labor in this country, and you and I have talked about yeah, that before yeah, and whether yeah. that, that's still the case, but uh, they oppose ratification of this deal. They say it's not the right deal, that it's not it, it, it needs to be made stronger. It does. It's not the best thing for workers. Um, are they right? Are they wrong? Well, should uh, it be ratified, or should they try to? I mean, they well, can't block it. But listen, Canada negotiated an agreement with the United States and Mexico, and we did the best we could to ensure we can protect this country and, of course, the uh, flow of, of uh, goods across the border to, to keep millions of people employed. I think we have an agreement that represents that principle. Of course, you can arg are always argue an agreement could be better. 
What the Democrats are fighting for the United States is an American fight. Uh, and of course, we are obviously going to watch what happened there. And of course, if those things were yeah, to happen. I'm talking about the New Democrats in this country. Yeah, no, but I'm saying, but the New Democrats in this country, the things that the Americans are, nobody's against them. I'm not against right. what the Americans are fighting for, in the, uh, the Democrats in the United States. If they have them, I think they should add it to the agreement to make the agreement that much better at the end of the day. But the reality is we don't have any say over that because that was not part of the negotiations originally. Right. Had they done what we were asking them, I think we would have had a better agreement at the end of the day on the labor provision, but the Americans were not there to do that to, to begin with. And so, but do you disagree with the NDP in this country that, that this, this is a better deal? I, I, think, I, I think it's a better deal for Canadian workers because the labor provision is better at, at the end of the day. We've certainly got some recognition. The auto uh, sector is going to be protected. Uh, so we know we've got the tariffs off the steel and aluminum that will make sure those workers have free flow of goods going back to the United States. And of course, we don't have to impose tariff. But in the long term, of course, Compared to the old agreement, do we have something better here today? Any measurement, you can say we do have something better. Is there? Can it still be improved? I guess we'll see what the Democrats do in the states. Right. Did you come away feeling, uh, in listening to, and you repeated it a number of times today, Mr. Pence, saying, "Look, our our uh, objective is to get this ratified by the summer." A lot of a lot of people questioning that, including us in our conversation. Now, did you? Do you get any sense from him? That, anything that gives you confidence from the conversation you had around the table that, yeah, this is probably going to happen or mm, not so sure? Well, I, I don't think anybody knows for sure. I think that, that the certainty that we do know, they're going to have a very tough conversation both with Congress and the president as to how this thing gets ratified. And I'm of the view that the administration is going to try to figure out how to make a concession to give the Democrats a win that, so he can have a win in the end in getting his agreement through. Right. And it's tied up in U.S. politics down there, of course. No, nobody wants anybody to have a win down there right now. So. <laughs> but, you know, it's a strange country we got here because of a strange president, so we shouldn't be surprised. All right. Hassan Youssef, thanks for your time. Thank you.